Are you stuck in a rut and don't know what to have for lunch and you're so tired of takeout? Well, today on this video, I'm gonna give you an easy idea to make a Greek pasta salad that's gonna be delicious and easy to prep for the week. My name is Jenny Waters and I'm your Empty Nest Health Coach. I love to teach people how to find food that they love, that makes them feel good, and keeps them healthy. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that alert button so you'll know when the next video is posted. So the ingredients that we're gonna to use today, I got simple uh, rotisserie chicken that's already shredded from sprouts. You can do your own, but I just wanted to do a shortcut this week because I'm short on time. Roasted chickpeas, you can either buy these or roast them yourself. Cucumbers, I love Primal Kitchen's Greek uh, salad dressing, good ingredients and taste good. And then I love to I add microgreens. They're a great way to get a big punch of flavor and nutrients. And then feta cheese. Now feta cheese, you have to be careful and really read the ingredients. I like sheep's milk cheese because it, my body t tolerates it better. So if you're trying to go a little dairy free, you want sheep or goat's milk and read the label to get the feta that's actually sheep milk. And then spinach and arugula. And this is one of my favorite gluten-free pastas. It's made with sweet potato. And those are your ingredients, simple, and we're gonna start cooking. Dump your pasta into boiling water and set your timer for seven to eight minutes. While your pasta's boiling, set out your containers for uh, the meal prep. I like to chop my greens because it makes it easier to chew and digest. And I also just don't like feel like I'm eating leaves. So I just like to chop them up a little bit so they're in, a little easier to eat. Once they're chopped, divvy them up in your bowls. Next, I'm gonna add the microgreens. This one is a micro rainbow mix. And because they're microgreens, the, a lot of the, they're very nutrient dense because that's what the plant needs to start growing. So you're getting a real big punch of flavor and nutrients. Next, I'm gonna chop up some cucumber. Cucumber is uh, a very Greek tasting uh, vegetable and it's, I think, really yummy in the summer. So I quartered them mostly and I use about a half a cucumber in each salad. Next, I'm gonna chop this shredded chicken into more bite-sized pieces. So I have the block, a little block of feta cheese that I'm gonna just kind of make it into crumbles. I'm gonna cut it up first a little bit and then put it in the salad in one corner. Okay, so to add a little crunch, I love roasted chickpeas. So I'm gonna put a, some in each salad to give it that crunch, like a crouton, but a little healthier version. And then I got these little sauce containers on Amazon. So we're gonna put this, the salad dressing on right as we're ready to eat the salad. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get these ready to go. So then after your pasta's cooled, you wanna put a little bit in each salad. Now, some other great additions to this Greek salad would be slice up some cherry tomatoes, some uh, red bell pepper, or you could also finish it with some olives. So those are some great things. It's all dependent on what you like. So we have the salad prepped and ready to go with our dressing. So no more takeout, and I'm gonna get a delicious lunch that I'm looking forward to eating. 